we just got back from the range. Got to put some rounds through the Caltech P17. And um, I was happy with the accuracy. Reliability was a bit of an issue. Did not clean it. It came straight from the box to the range. So today I plan on cleaning it. So putting some dry lube on it. Ray, what'd you think about it? Uh, so starting with the magazines, holds like nearly 20 rounds of 22 LR. We had zero issues with the magazines themselves from what I could tell. So that's a good thing. That's pretty cool. And feed, feeding them in wasn't that big of a deal. Like as far as pushing the 22 LR in it to it. Yeah, because they're actually like a double stack. They actually feed down in there when you're loading it pretty easily. Um, the paddle magazine release, I have actually come to enjoy due to the fact that I've started to get into HK USPs and I kind of like those and I kind of like this because while you're shooting it, you just use your middle finger to pop out the mags. Which the magazines do feel pretty cheap. These like legitimately feel like airsoft magazines. I will not stop saying that because um, like this is not an issue for me, but the like this is a two hundred dollar pistol. There are so as far as like quality issues as far as it functioning. I don't really have an issue with those. Where like the price, like where you see like the price come into play more is like the magazines. If you look at like the pistol frame itself, like the grips are just straight plastic. And uh, it definitely feels pretty airsofty in your hand. Pretty much the only metal parts are right up here on this top strap and some internal parts and some screws. Very nice to shoot though. I did enjoy shooting it. I did as well uh, when it worked, which we'll, was we'll get in, most we'll get into of that the time. Because uh, you have the box you left. Yeah. We went through a just a box of Federal and within that box, it only had um, like the first hundred rounds I did, so like the first hundred rounds, absolutely no issue. Then immediately after that, it just kept giving us, um, double feeds, failure to ejects, and... Stove pipes, all the things, all the problems. Uh, again, don't think any of those were magazine related, because there was always one that was put in the chamber. I think it's more of an ejection issue, which it has a fairly sizable ejector for what it is and it seemed to do pretty well most of the time. What I what surprised me was the fact that switching to Aguila, it actually did worse. <laughs> yeah, so like in like, next time I go to the range, I do plan on cleaning it, dry lube, and just making sure that I'm using quality ammo to really test run like the pistol itself. I don't want to use, you know, cheap bulk Winchester ammo and they'd be like, ah, oh, the pistol sucks, they're reliable. I'm trying to use like the best ammo. Next time we go out, we'll only use CCI through it. So we'll get a better sample of it. Just planning to shoot 200 rounds through it next time. Um, other things are controls. It does in fact have ambidextrous safeties, which that's pretty cool. Uh, it only has the slide release, which is right there that tiny yeah tiny, tiny little slide, which was an issue way up there <laughs> small issue just like because uh what i did was at like the end just put five rounds shoot 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 drop the mag put an one in release it and it would be like because uh, 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 it wouldn't i don't know because it does have like other fins next to it or sorry right here so i would go for the wrong little fin but fun pistol to shoot affordable i would recommend it to anyone out there looking for an affordable semi-automatic 22 lr pistol uh thus far as like a plinker for 200 bucks yeah it's not bad um it kind of has the Keltec curse of pretty neat some decent ideas but um getting it to function is hit or miss but i guess it never misses yeah <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.